Now we would develop the material balance for the shipping section, which is the bottom section of the column. Again, with all material balance, the first thing we do is we we select our system boundary and we draw a system boundary flowing through the, the bottom section of the column and cutting the the bottoms product or the waste product as can be shown here and that is our system boundaries now as usual we utilize the equation input is equal to output that we developed in the previous video and we can now construct our total material balance this is our total balance lm bar is equal to vm plus one bar plus w and the bar basically represents the flow rates at the in the shipping section of the column now again like before we can assume that the concept of constant molar overflow applies therefore the flow rates of the vapor and the liquid at the shipping section within the column are all the same so therefore the vapor i say this is a, another stage within the shipping section so the vapor coming from the v m plus one stage has the same vapor as the vapor coming from the m stage and, and so on and so on similarly the liquid in the liquid side the liquid coming from the the m minus one stage would have the same flow rate as a liquid coming from the MCH. Now if the concept of constant molar flow is assumed, we can rewrite the total balance to be L bar is equal to V bar plus W. Again, L bar and V bar just represents the vapor and liquid flow rate within the shipping section. Unlike the terms v and l which we had used in the rectifying section because due to the feed the flow rates of the shipping section will vary to that of the the rectifying section and i will show that in the the next video when i introduce and talk about the q line and how the feed affects the flow rates in the company in the cut within the column so now we can continue to develop our material balance with the most volatile component now again utilizing the equation input is equal to output within our system boundaries that we we just set we can develop the the material balance with the most volatile component which is shown here and again input the only input is the liquid coming in to the system boundary and the output is the vapor leaving and also the liquid bottoms product or the waste product that is being removed at the bottom and that is shown here and again we are since we assume that constant molar overflow is taken into consideration the equation can then go to this form l bar by x is equal to v bar y by y plus w by x of u, where again l bar and v bar is a constant flow rate within the shipping section. Now, unlike the rectifying section, the operating line for the shipping section, you can also do a lot of manipulation to get that equation where you will have to introduce the something what is called the boiler plate and the boiler plate is basically the vapor that is being vaporized by the reboiler and reintroduced into the column and because the vapor leaving the partial reboiler which is the same vapor i was just explaining and the liquid leaving the column since they are at equilibrium we consider this a stage so the vapor that is leaving this stage would be um, as I, as I shown here v m plus one we could define 
a new term called the boil-up ratio, which is the vapor, the flow rate of the vapor leaving the reboiler to the flow rate of the bottom spread up or the flow rate of the waste. So the VB, which is the boiler ratio, is equal to VM plus 1. Again, VM plus 1 is the vapor leaving the partial condenser, which could be seen here. VM plus 1 divided by the flow rate of the bottom product, which is W. Again, more manipulation would be done to this equation so that we could insert the term of boil-up ratio so that we can get a new equation that can we can then use to construct our operating line for the stripping section. I will not be deriving this equation for the bottom shipping section due to the fact that in this video series we'll be using a different method in solving the McKipty method. This equation that you see here is the equation for the stripping section of the column and it represents the stripping operating line or the lower operating line in the McKipty method. Now I didn't show the derivation for this equation due to the fact that the boil-up ratio um, most times isn't really a, a piece of information that is given. Therefore, however, if you do have this, uh, this information, you could go ahead and use it um, just like how we use the equation in the rectifying section. Uh, we would break down this equation into y is equal to mx plus c, where y is the term here. The gradient m is this entire term, vb plus 1 divided by vb. x would be x, and the term for c is minus 1 over vp by x of b. So you utilize the information you have, and again, you will be able to draw your lower operating line. For visual purposes, the lower operating line, this line, this equation that we develop, the, the line will be illustrated in the McKeptiel diagram as shown. You have your, your y is equal to x line. Then you have your equilibrium curve and you will go up from x w you draw a, a vertical line to meet the y is equal to x line or your 45 degree line and then your your lower operating line would look something like this and if you would want to extend it to see the y intercept it will cut the y-intercept at a negative value. That is why it is negative 1 over vp. However, as I said, in this video series, we would be using an alternative method to, to develop the lower operating line.